Hey everyone, my name is Carolyn, and today I'm excited to share with you five tips on getting started with essential oils. But before I get started, go ahead and go down in the comment section and comment why you want to start uh, getting into essential oils or what are your favorite essential oils. I really, with my channel, want to start a community of like-minded people who enjoy essential oils and enjoy aromatherapy and enjoy bettering themselves and their environment so then we can learn and grow together. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with tip number one. So the first tip that I have for you guys is do your research. This is the most important, I think. So before you even consider buying essential oils, what you're going to need to do is do a lot of reading and a lot of searching. So you can get reliable books and read them and learn as much as you can about essential oils, carrier oils, hydrosols, all that sorts of things. And you can go on online platforms such as Facebook or YouTube even and um, watch videos or join pages and learn through that through a sort of community of people who care about these things that you do. You can also reach out to um, a certified aromatherapist. I'm currently in school to be a certified aromatherapist but I am not certified yet. So you can reach out to a certified aromatherapist um, through the internet or through um, somebody that you know and that way you can kind of work with them and figure out what is best for you. In the description box down below I'm going to put some reliable sources of research uh, that you can do on your own and uh, hopefully that will help you in weaving out the good and the bad information because I know there's a lot of misleading information out there. Right, and tip number two is safety. Safety is so important. These essential oils are so potent and powerful. They have a lot of therapeutic effects and you need to know if you're going to use these, what they do and how they affect your body. And there's a lot of different sources in which um, you can do, again, your research and get that safety information that is so vital to you understanding and using essential oils. I think um, one of the leading books in uh, safety and considerations in the essential oil and aromatherapy world is by Robert and Tisserand, and I will uh, link the book down below. Um, but also, if you uh, can't afford that book, uh, which is, is pretty expensive, it is a really big investment, then uh, what you can do is you can go to Aromatics International. Um, that is an online company in which I buy a lot of my essential oils, um, not all of them because there are g other good websites. But you can go on there and research the essential oils and they're going to give you some safety considerations along with therapeutic properties, shelf life, all that good stuff that you need to know before you buy your essential oil. So I'm going to have a video coming out in the next few weeks all about phototoxic essential oils. The making of this video is kind of prompted by a lot of things that I've seen on Facebook uh, with the mus misuse of uh, citrus essential oils. So I just want to go ahead and clear that up and give you guys some safety considerations and tell you um, the right information so that you can use these oils safely and that you're not put off by these oils because of misinformation that you have received and bad stories that you have heard of. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you will be stay tuned and um, you can watch that video. Tip number three is dilution. Dilution, dilution, dilution. Get that in your head, dilution. Okay, this is so important, guys. You need to know how to dilute your essential oils. Essential oils, like I said, are so potent. They are not meant to be put on your skin without being diluted, okay? This kind of falls into the other categories of do your research and know your safety guidelines. So you're gonna need to know your dilution rates. Go ahead and always know that less is better than more when it comes to essential oils. You can always add more, but it's always great to work as with as little essential oils as possible because if you get the essential oil therapeutic benefits 
from just that little bit, then you don't need to add more and then you're just saving money and you're not wasting the essential oil. If you guys want me to do separate videos on any of the points that I am talking about, please just leave a comment down below and I would love, love, love to do that for you guys. All right, now we've gotten to tip number four and this is the exciting one. Once you've gone through the first three steps, now you can really consider buying essential oils but you're gonna need to know how to spot a reputable source to buy these essential oils from. Uh, I'm gonna link a few websites down below, but that is by far not the um, only places that you can buy these essential oils from. A few tips that I have for you is, number one, that essential oils need to be in a glass bottle. If they're in a plastic bottle, that means that they are adulterated with something, some sort of something that um, is not good and not what you want. So glass bottle and number two, the glass bottles need to be dark colored, usually amber glass bottles. Um, and this is because light really, really, really affects essential oils. Those are the first two signs. Um, they're red flags if the company does not have that, uh, so don't buy those oils. Um, another thing is if a company says uh, that their essential oils are therapeutic grade, um, that, is, that is not anything, that doesn't mean anything. It's not FDA regulated, somebody just slapping that um, on there and saying, hey, these are therapeutic grade, you should buy these products. Um, but in reality, they have no substance to that. If there is an essential oil company that says their essential oils are 100% pure and therefore never go bad and don't have a shelf life, then you know, red flag, do not buy from them. Because that's just purely not true. Uh, this is based on science and chemistry. Oils over time are going to oxidize. And this is from um, being exposed to just oxygen in the air and being exposed to UV rays from just the sun. And each essential oil has their own specific shelf life based on the chemical components that are in that essential oil. Before buying essential oils, you need to know your price range. Okay, so there is a huge, huge, huge price range in essential oils. You could get an essential oil, uh, let's say sweet orange essential oil, a 15 milliliter bottle for say 10, 15 dollars. Okay, great, that's inexpensive because mainly how it is produced and um, the availability, the demand, and that sort of thing. All those kind of business stuff. And then you have essential oil like Heliochrysum, which is a five milliliter bottle that is, say, $65. Um, so when you're just starting out, you need to know your price range, what you're willing to spend that money on, so you'll know which essential oils you are able to afford. There is a ton of essential oils that are affordable and multi-purpose and um, great essential oils, so you don't have to go out and spend a ton of money. And make sure that you have a plan of usage for these oils. As I said before, these oils do go bad, they do have a shelf life. So make sure that you, when you buy these essential oils, you have a plan in action to use them. So that one, you're not wasting money, two, and two, you're not wasting the essential oil. Last but not least, my tip number five is for you guys to realize that not everything in aromatherapy is black and white. There's still a lot of research going on, a lot of opinions, and a lot of different factors that go into aromatherapy. So one of the factors is that every human is different. Everybody reacts differently to different essential oils, and that's just based on who you are, where you're from, and the specific essential oil. All right, guys, I believe that is it. I know I have given you a lot of information and a lot of things for you guys to think about. If you have any questions, I have my email on my channel page. You can comment down below, and I will do my best to try and get to you. Happy blending, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.